Barney gets an EEG. If you have epilepsy or seizures, sometimes you need to go to the hospital for a special test called EEG. This may last for just an hour or two, or you may need to stay overnight at the hospital for a few days. There are even times when you might be able to have an EEG without leaving your home. Your brain is made up of millions of tiny cells called neurons. These neurons use electricity to send messages to other parts of your brain and out to the rest of your body. This is how we think, feel, move, and do the things we do all day. If you have epilepsy, every once in a while, a group of neurons in your brain sends too many messages at once, and this causes a seizure. An EEG measures these electrical messages and can help doctors find out where in the brain seizures are starting. This allows them to help you have fewer seizures. You may be wondering what it's like to have an EEG. Luckily, Barney, our hospital dog, is here to help. Barney's job is to help kids feel comfortable when they go to the hospital. He thought it would be nice to show kids what it's like to get an EEG by getting one himself. First, Barney and his handler, Heather, took the elevator all the way up to the 12th floor of Mott Children's Hospital. When he looked out the window, he could see almost the whole city. Next, they checked in at the front desk and were asked to sit for a few minutes in the waiting room. Soon, Amanda, one of our EEG experts, came to take them to their room. She explained that EEG uses a bunch of small, circular devices called electrodes to measure the electrical activity in the brain. These electrodes are connected by wires to a computer that records what's going on. Amanda explained that she was going to attach the electrodes to Barney's head with a special paste and some tape. Barney wondered if his fur would get in the way, but Amanda said it wouldn't. Barney was feeling a little nervous, so Amanda said he could watch his favorite movie while she was putting the electrodes on. Barney wagged his tail and felt better. After explaining what would happen, Amanda got started. First, she measured Barney's head with a measuring tape. This helped her know where to put the electrodes. Next, she used a special crayon to put dots on Barney's head. These dots marked where the electrodes would go. When she was done, she started cleaning each dot with a type of soap that was kind of sandy. Barney thought it tickled a little, but it didn't hurt. Next, Amanda started attaching the electrodes with paste and some tape. These were good at holding the electrodes on, but they weren't too sticky. She said they would be easy to take off when the test was done. After putting the last one on, Amanda wrapped a stretchy fabric called gauze around Barney's head. This kept the electrodes in place. The wires from the electrodes all came out the back of the gauze. Barney thought it looked like he had a second tail. These wires attached to a small computer that Amanda put in a backpack. Now that Barney was all hooked up, Amanda needed to do a couple of tests. She explained that these tests might make the child's neurons be a little more active. This could help the doctors find where the child's seizures were starting. First, she brought a special lamp in front of Barney's face and turned out the lights. She explained that the lights would flash for a few minutes, kind of like the flashing lights on a fire truck or ambulance. First, the light flashed slowly. Each time, the flashes got faster and faster until they were flickering. Barney thought it felt like he was blinking his eyes really quickly. After a few minutes, Amanda turned the lights back on and brought Barney a pinwheel. She asked him to take deep breaths and blow into the pinwheel so it kept spinning. Barney was able to keep it spinning until Amanda said it was okay to stop. Amanda told him he did a great job and explained that sometimes children can go home after an hour or so, and other times they might go to a hospital room and stay overnight. She explained that the hospital room has its own bathroom, a comfy bed, a TV and video games, and children could move around the room whenever they wanted. They could also bring some of their favorite toys to play with while in the hospital, just like Barney's bird toy. Next, Amanda showed Heather and Barney a red button. She explained that the child or family member should push the button if they have a seizure or feel like a seizure might be starting. 
This could help the doctors figure out where in the brain the seizure started. Barney asked if he could practice using his paw to press the button. After pressing it, Heather gave him a treat. After an hour or so, the doctors and nurses came in to check on Barney. They told him everything looked good and it was time to go home. Amanda removed the gauze and took each electrode off. It came off pretty easily. She cleaned and combed his fur. He felt like a new dog, fresh, clean, and ready to go home and see the rest of his family. Amanda gave him a high five and told him he did a great job. Barney thought to himself, that wasn't so bad. I was a little worried at first, but everyone was so nice. So that's what happens during an EEG test. If you have any questions, your doctors and nurses will be happy to answer them. We look forward to seeing you and making your EEG as comfortable as possible. You may even get a visit from Barney while you're here.